Hi, welcome to the short video on the fundamental concepts for understanding security in ClickView. My name is John Callan. I'm with the product marketing team at ClickTech. This video is part of a series of videos on the topic of security in ClickView. If you haven't already done so, please take a look at the first video entitled Understanding Security in ClickView, an Overview, and all preceding videos to better prepare you for the topics presented here. It's important to remember that security in ClickView is applied through a combination of document level and server level approaches. In this video, I will cover security applied at the document level to provide row level security using section access, but this time using NT domain authentication. In a previous video, I talked about implementing section access using only ClickView to provide authentication. So again, I can go into the script editor and I can edit my hidden script. And again, I'm logging in here as the administrator. Currently, what you see is a section access script where I have user ID and password fields in clear text. Obviously, for a variety of reasons, this is not desirable when implementing an enterprise-wide solution. Firstly, it's never desirable to have passwords contained as clear text. And secondly, if for some reason the admin password is lost, then user privileges will be locked in. And so what we often want to do is utilize a centralized NT authentication so that when somebody logs into their machine and opens up a file, they're automatically authenticated via their NT credentials. So what I'll do here is simply comment out this original piece of script. Next, I can go insert, section access, and inline, and I'm going to select an NT name field. Now there are other fields here that I can also use. I can also implement the NT domain security identifier, for example. But in this case, I'm just going to implement the NT name so that ClickView will check to see whether somebody has been authenticated against NT before providing access to the file. It's worth noting here that ClickView will first check for NT authentication in a section access table before then proceeding to check native username password entries. So now, very simply, I can implement the authorization to different people to whom I want to grant reduced data access to. So I have somebody who I want to apply admin access to, and they might have the NT domain name QService. But I also have someone who has the username JDo, but who only should have user privileges. Similarly, MFIS and JAIR are granted user privileges only. Now these names are users that have been set up on the local NT domain so that somebody would log into their machine using this particular username. Of course, this is managed by Windows and not by ClickView. And this is the difference between NT level authentication for section access and ClickView native authentication. Once you click OK in the wizard, you see that in the inline statement there is a field just for the usernames but not for password. And again, this is because the authentication occurs at the Windows operating system level and not at the ClickView level. Once this file now is reopened on a Windows machine, it'll check against the credentials listed in the section access script to provide the appropriate access to the file and the data within. What you've just seen is a short video looking at row level security using NT domain authentication in ClickView using section access. This video is part of a series of videos covering security in ClickView, and I encourage you to view the other videos in the series to give you a more complete picture of how security is handled in ClickView. Thank you.